What's up, you guys? It's been an absolutely incredible summer so far. The weather's been amazing, and I've been spending a lot of time at our Malibu Beach House. The beach is definitely an escape from the city for us, and I just absolutely love falling asleep with the waves crashing in the background and being able to take long walks with my husband on the beach. One of the things I love about this home is that it's a completely different style from our house in Bel Air, and it's kind of fun to switch it up and play with different things. You ready for a full tour? Come check it out. So starting off, this is the living room. And as you can see, it's very colorful and it actually came fully furnished. This decor would be considered mid-century modern, which is completely different from my house. And at first I was like, oh, I'm gonna wanna change the sofas to everything all white. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of have fallen in love with the blue, especially when you look out into the ocean and it kind of gives you a beach vibe. It's like, yes, the blue of the ocean, the blue of the sofa. So I haven't switched it up just yet. This is the TV room. I love, love, love the two flat screens that are above here. Even though all the bedrooms have their own TVs in them, this is really where everyone comes to just chill and watch TV together. And just right off the living room is the bar over here. You guys, I'm obsessed with not only the view, Check out this stone quartz wall, which I fell in love with, and this is where all the fun happens. I love that so many of our friends get to enjoy our vacation home and that they kind of just can come over, create cocktails of their own, and just have a good time and have fun. You gotta have fun when you're by the beach. I'm gonna take you on over to my favorite part of the house, the kitchen, come on. The kitchen is definitely my favorite part of this house because it's my dream kitchen. And I know it sounds crazy, but I actually cook more here than I do at my other home. I love, love, love white marble. I had talked to Israel about it. I love the color of the floors, the wood. I love that this is an open floor plan and you kind of get to mingle with everybody. People that are in the living room, that are at the bar. It's exactly how I would have designed it myself. Guess what, guys? It's a fridge that looks like a fridge. What a shocker. Asking the realtor like, okay, but where's the fridge? Like, how do you have a kid? They're like, girl, this is the fridge and how crazy is this? Freezer. I, I love it. I think that even though it's smaller than my other kitchen, this actually is way more my style. So I love, love, love coffee, but as you guys know, I'm caffeine sensitive. So I have to do decaf. But I've been drinking coffee since I was a baby. Am I the only Latina that literally had coffee, like cafe con leche in my bottle? Let me know in the comments below. Stunted my growth, that's why I'm 4'11", okay? I could have been 5'9", like Cindy Crawford. Like I said, for some reason, I cook more in this house. So I love the dining room table, especially because Israel's been writing his album here in the house with other incredible writers. So when they just gather around and enjoy a little something that I've prepared, I mainly cook seafood. Bomb salmon, miso cod, my Chilean sea bass is incredible. And I love, love, love having people over, especially now because it, it is becoming a creative space. So I have great memories around this table. There's actually an entire other floor to this house, a complete downstairs that currently is under construction because Israel is creating literally the most phenomenal studio with an unreal view. And so it's actually available for rent for artists to come here and either do writing camps, writing retreats, and I'll put the link in the description. But guess what guys? I don't come with the house. The chef doesn't come with the house. I wanted to point this out, I'm obsessed with these kind of picnic baskets that come with everything in them. Look at this. So we love taking this down to the beach. Israel and I go down and actually have picnics, which I freaking love. And this actually keeps things cool and it comes with all this. And you can get this at Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm obsessed with it. Also, these two are also from Bed Bath & Beyond. Love that store. We are on our way to the master bedroom. But first, I have to point this out. This is the coolest loft ever. Clearly, I'm not gonna climb up the ladder in this little dress, but there are actually three beds up there. And okay, as a kid, this would have been my dream hideout spot. Like, I can't wait for my nieces to come here and have the best time ever. I'm gonna be up there with a projector, watching movies. I feel like we should start a club and all hang out up in there and you need like a membership to enter and a special knock. Love, love, love. 
Welcome to the master bedroom. I've clearly made myself comfortable already. I love this room, um, mainly because all of these doors actually completely open up and you can hear the waves crashing and they put you to sleep. It's that white noise that's incredible and it's not coming off the machine, it's the real thing. You guys know that I love an all white bedroom. I love white sheets, I love bedding. Have you guys ever heard of bed in a bag? I love that because it's one stop shop. You literally can get everything for a super cheap price and you don't have to figure out like, oh, do I want these kind of pillows that go with this kind of sheets? No, it comes with everything you possibly need and that's where I got this from. I got the mirror from Home Goods, and I love it. I think it really brings a rustic feel to the bedroom and the, ch oh, the chairs. I love the chairs. They're from Living Spaces. A fun fact, if you saw my entertaining tips video, I actually got all the candles in the house from the drugstore and I did the trick with the Windex and I actually cleared it off the labels and so now they're just beautiful all white candles around the house. The master bathroom, oh the master bathroom has the most incredible tub ever. Prepare for so many Instagram pictures of me in it. There's a rainfall shower. You know I like to keep things simple and clean so all white rugs in there and I love it, it's a chic bathroom. In addition to the master bedroom, there are two other bedrooms in the house. One actually has a little loft in the top, which I'm obsessed with. I don't know why, I feel like having a beach house and like little nooks that you can like hide away in and cuddle with someone are the cutest things ever. And that one is decorated a little bit more nautical, which I was super into. And a lot of that uh, bedding is actually by Ugg. Like yes, the Ugg boots. They make bedding, who knew? So that is all Ugg bedding in there that's super nautical. And then in the other bedroom, it's a little bit more feminine, a little bit more girly, and it has a beach theme with creams and a cream throw in there. And it's just a really, really pretty bathroom. And right off of my bedroom is this absolutely breathtaking deck. I love, 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 I feel like I mainly spend my time out here. I love to lay out and take a little bit of sun, just listen to some music. There's even a fire pit right there that we gather around at night. Guys, I've actually even seen dolphins out here, which is incredible. Every time I spot one, I'm like, my husband hears me screaming. He's like, what is wrong? I'm like, nothing, I just saw a dolphin. As amazing as this house is for entertaining and obviously having friends over, I love nothing more when it's just Israel and I here and it's super peaceful and we just come out here to rest. Just chill, it's super romantic to me. I, I love, love, love just being out here and hearing the waves crashing. I know you can't hear me now because they're so loud. I'm definitely happiest by the ocean. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tour of our Malibu Beach House. If you guys have any questions or comments or some of your favorite places to escape to during the summer, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you back at my house. Mwah, besitas.